From your local election headquarters, we're less than 90 minutes away from our 2020 Massachusetts U.S. Senate debate. Incumbent Senator Ed Markey will face primary challenger Joe Kennedy live in our studios. Our debate was originally supposed to happen at UMass Dartmouth. Losing that exciting event is hardly the only disappointment the school has dealt with amid the COVID-19 pandemic. But the school's chancellor, Robert Johnson, isn't dwelling on the present, but rather looking to the future, specifically the fall semester. I sat down with him for a wide-ranging interview about what fall on campus will look like and what he's looking for from the candidate who wins the Senate primary. UMass Dartmouth is a shell of what you'd normally see this time of year. Chancellor Robert Johnson and his staff are hard at work to bring life back to this empty campus come the fall. He painted a picture for me of just what that would look like. In an ideal situation, uh, fully face to face on site with some form of social distancing. So we're looking at, you know, how do we map out classrooms and how they will be structured differently? You know, how do we enter and leave buildings? Uh, how do we protect, um, you know, our employees who are in high risk groups? Um, um, and, you know, making sure that we have some type of blended learning and, and workforce opportunities so that they are protected as well. The president of UMass, Marty Meehan, has already proposed a tuition freeze for the upcoming year, recognizing that many of the school's students and families are facing financial hardships caused by the pandemic. Chancellor Johnson wants to take it a step further, calling on whomever wins the Senate race in Massachusetts to enact legislation to keep education affordable, including indexing the Pell Grant with inflation. When I attended school, 80% uh, of, uh, of my education, I came from a low income family, was paid for through grants, through federal and state aid. Only about 20% in, 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 in student loans. I think it's just the opposite now. High on his list of priorities, the blue economy, what he refers to as the next big thing, utilizing one of our most precious resources in southern New England, the water. Imagine the 195 corridor going from Providence all the way down to the Cape. Uh, and imagine a bunch of blue economy uh, companies and nonprofit organizations um, uh, along that corridor. And we uh, create essentially the Silicon Valley uh, of the blue economy right down here on the South Coast. He's pushing for elected leaders to provide more funding for the initiative, which UMass Dartmouth is spearheading. When the school was asked to host a field hospital during the pandemic, which fortunately never had to be used, Johnson said it was only natural for them to step up. He says the same goes for the role the school will play as the region looks to emerge from this pandemic and get back to work. And the debate between Ed Markey and Joe Kennedy begins live at 7 on WPRI 12. We'll also be streaming it live on WPRI.com.